Of course. Everybody knows sinus rhythm, so let's just go over the arrhythmias. So first, this is sinus arrhythmia. It looks normal, but it's slightly off, kind of like a homeschooled kid. It's gonna have normal P waves preceding every QRS, the little P before the little poop up. It's actually pretty common in athletes. Also, if someone's having an inferior wall MI or for dig toxicity. Next, sinus tachycardia. It looks normal, but it's super fast, like they drank too much coffee. This means everything's normal. There's a P for every QRS. QRS is nice and tight, but the rate is gonna be above 100. Sinus bradycardia. It's the same, it's normal, but it's really slow. They're always late to the party. They never get the joke on time. It's below 60. This is called an SA arrest or a block. It means that the rhythms are normal, except they're gonna have missing little spots. They're gonna have some pauses. Yes, you will always have a P for the QRS. Happens with infection, some MIs, and also if you stimulate the vagal nerve. Next is second degree AV block or Weckenbach. This is when the little atrial rhythms are regular, but the ventricular rhythm is irregular. And one classic sign is that the PR interval is shorter after the missed beat. The third degree AV block or like the complete heart block, you're gonna have an atrial rhythm that's regular, a ventricle rhythm that's regular, but you're also gonna have a slower rate than the atrial rate. There's no relation between the P's and the QRS complexes. They're not even talking. Also, the QRS is wide. This is VTAC. VTAC is usually a super fast, like 140 to 220. There is no P. If you see this and the person has no pulse, you need to shock them because they are hopping their way to defibrillation. If there is a pulse, amiodarone. This is VFib. It looks like a toddler just scribbled in a line. Rapid and chaotic, like vacationing with my family. Again, no peas. If there is no pulse, you should probably start CPR and uh, do some epi. Asystole, nothing's happening. This is super duper VTAC. It's like VTAC with a Superman cape. The atrial and the ventricular rhythms are just incorrect and irregular. It's hard to tell what's the P and then what's the T. Probably gonna need some cardioversion or some adenosine. A flutter, you're gonna have the little sawtooth. So many Bs. You can tell the QRS, but it's gonna be irregular. AFib, the atrial rate is grossly irregular. Same with the ventricular rate. There's no Ps, but it looks like there's little Ps, but it's just like an erratic little line. Junctional rhythm, it is regular, but the P waves are technically kind of absent. And let's talk about first degree block. There's a P for every QRS. The QRS complex is normal, but the P to the R interval is gonna be greater than 0.20. This is assuming you know the basics of like intervals and what a PQRS is and a T.